Well, mortgage rates, if you've noticed, continue to climb, hitting their highest level in nearly 23 years. The high cost of borrowing is taking a toll on the housing market. New specialist Lad Egan joins us now live with that story. Lad? Yeah, Dan and Ashley, buyers are sitting on the sidelines because of those high mortgage rates combined with high home prices and a lack of available homes. In fact, new listings for homes for sale in August in Utah were at the lowest level since records started back in 2006. That's because those with existing low rate mortgages are staying put. Today, the, the uh, National Mortgage Bankers Association said the average rate for a 30-year mortgage increased to 7.41%. That's the highest level since December of 2000. That's causing slowing sales of existing and newly built homes. A report from the Utah Association of Realtors says falling home price, uh, sales have done little to cool home prices, however, which have continued to sit at record high levels nationally thanks to a limited supply of homes for sale. Here's a look at the latest median sales price in the Beehive State, sitting at 491000 That's down less than 2% from a year ago. The Utah Valley Home Builders Association says builders are feeling the pain as buyers struggle with affordability. In some instances, I think the same house, the pay monthly payment is almost doubled. And uh, that's made it impossible for them to afford, but even more impossible for them to qualify. The builders are scared. They can't build a big inventory because they don't know if they can sell it. The Home Builders Group said Utah will weather the storm better than most states, but calls it a tough situation. Across Utah, it's taking an average of 49 days from the time a home is listed for an offer to be accepted. Two years ago, it took only 20 days for that to happen. And looking ahead to next year, uh, the Utah Realtor Group says that it does expect mortgage rates to decrease slightly, but they worry that they're, they're seeing a reduction in permits for new home construction and say that could uh, lead to a worsening of our housing shortage, which could put upward pressure on prices. For Live at Five, I'm Laddie.